Welcome to Midlife Customs at Craig's Garage. In this video, I finally start working on my new project, the 67 F100. If you like working on cars and watching DIY videos, then you should hit the subscribe button because that is what I post on this channel. Please take a quick minute to read this disclaimer. I am not a professional, nor do I claim to be. After going to see the 67 F100 that was listed on Facebook Marketplace, and I think it was also on Craigslist, I decided that I was going to go ahead and pick it up. So I finally have a new project that I'll be working on. I'm excited. I plan to do a lot of update progress videos on this build and throw in a lot of how I did it sections, which I will be sharing pretty regularly. So as you can see here, the body looks like it's in pretty good shape and I just kind of like the look of it. I usually do like full on restorations, but I'm thinking on this one, I might try to keep that original look to it. So this truck didn't have a drivetrain, there was no motor and transmission, and I'm planning on taking the drivetrain out of my 67 F100 and putting this, it in here, and then putting a Coyote in mine. We'll see how that goes as the build continues. By the way, here's a few pictures of uh, a couple of my previous builds. Uh, 65 F100 and my 67 F100 before and after pictures. So after almost an entire day of working on just rusted bolts and them breaking off and everything, I was able to get the fenders off. And you can see there's going to be some things that need to be fixed and replaced. But... One of the first things I wanted to do was get the front suspension off and it's pretty dirty. Here's a shot of it taken out and laying on the ground. Now with the front suspension removed, I just took a few minutes to clean up so that I could start working on removing the cross member here. So I went and picked up a front suspension from a 2003 Crown Vic. I also took a couple sections from the frame rails and I'll show why I did that later. Like I said, for the Crown Vic clip to go in, the center section has to come out. So here I have the center section removed, but you can see how all these metal pieces have to still come out and the piece that goes in the middle is a uh, difficult to work with I mean you just got to kind of do whatever you can to get it out and clean it and grind it all down so after all that's cleaned out here is what it will look like when it's basically ready for all the measurements you need which I'm not going to get into too much. I just think there's a ton of videos out there and a lot of them are better than I would be doing right now. So basically what you're going to want to do is put a hole right here for the dowel pins. And I think it's something like 3 8 inch back from the front hole. But you're going to do other measurements from the front to keep your center line. And then also you're going to have to split from frame rail to frame rail the dowels to go in center. Before I mocked it up, I went ahead and disassembled the front suspension from the Crown Vic and just cleaned everything up and painted it so that I can have just a cross member to deal with and it's easier to handle and move around. So here's a shot at what the dowel pins look like after the holes are drilled. 
and like I said, everyone seems to say it's about 3 8 inch back and centered from side to side. You can check out a video from Gateway Mustang. They do a pretty good job at breaking this all down. But like I said, mine is just more of an update on my build. Now for the reason I took the sections of frame rail out of the Crown Vic is because I wanted these spacers that go between. So I cut them out and cleaned them up. That way I can drill holes into my frame where they go and install it and weld them in. Here's what it looks like with the center section mounted back on and the holes drilled for the spacers and once I get this all in and tighten down I'll tack up the spacers so I can come back and fully weld them and yes I did fix this little bump in the frame so after that I went ahead and reassembled the front clip from the Crown Vic so that I can install it and go ahead and weld, fully weld in the spacers. I also went ahead and welded, cut and welded this two by two square piece before removing the front bumper to keep everything in line. So here's what it looks like after it's all set up and fully welded in. And like I said I would do, I fixed the bump in the frame rail. I also cut a link out of the springs while I had them out. After being happy with the way everything went together, I went ahead and disassembled it all so that I can spray inside the frame rails and around the spacers that way I can go ahead and box it all in and weld it up. I just sprayed it with some Rust-Oleum. I just wanted to make sure that everything was going to be protected and keep the rust from coming back after I welded the plates in. That way I know that everything back there was already painted and I don't have to worry about trying to reach it later after I grind everything down and paint the frame. On my next video, I'm going to start working on the rear section and installing and setting up the Explorer 8.8 .8 rear end. If you found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.